Domino's has to arguably be, arguably, arguably, be the best pizza, like fast food chain out there. It's just, they're a little bit thinner and not as greasy as like pizza. I mean, I like pizza if I have to have it, but Domino's is just, there's something about Domino's, man. Domino's dominates, mm hmm All right. Let's do the introduction. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Chris Bazzi, and today in this video, we're gonna be talking about backgrounds, how it can enhance your video, and how it can give it just a little bit more spice and just uniqueness to what you're trying to bring to whatever platform that you're shooting for, whether it's YouTube or social media like Facebook or Instagram. So you're probably thinking, why do I need to worry about a background? Why is it, why is it important? Why is it a topic? Well, if you look through videos that you like to watch on YouTube, whether it's unboxing videos or makeup tutorials or tutorials like this, where you talk about you know, filmmaking and photography, you'll notice that most of the big people on that platform usually film in the exact same space. Their, their space is usually exactly the same, their film set, if you will. And so to me, that film set adds that uniqueness to what you're trying to watch, what they're trying to bring to the table. And so to me, I think it's an important part of your video, not just the content you're trying to bring, but the setting that you're trying to bring it in. So today I'm gonna to bring you guys four tips on how to create a background and how to make it unique and make it visually appealing for people who are watching your videos. Okay, so tip number one is have your background be associated with whatever niche that you're trying to bring or content you're trying to bring. So if you are a chef who are making cooking videos, Ideally, you'd probably want your, your set, if you will, to be in a kitchen or have some pots and pans or spatulas or something like that around so people will associate your, your set that you're sitting in the environment to what you do, to what you're trying to bring. It just gives it a little, it makes everything just come together uh, rather than you just talking about cooking in a middle of like, I don't know, like a monster truck rally or something. Uh, tip number two is bring yourself away from that background. So one of the first videos I made was talking about adding depth to your videos. What you want to do is you don't want to create a background to where you're up against something. You want to add that depth. So as you can see behind me, I have a shelf, beautiful lit shelf with a bunch of little knickknacks that I'll go through later. But you'll notice that I am further in front of it. So you can see, you can tell that it's actually bokeh out or blurred out. Um, and it's to help create a little bit of depth, the sense of 3D space, if you will, that the background is not part of the video, but it creates and it helps enhance the environment of the video. So tip number two is, is adding that depth between you and the background. You want to make sure that you or whoever your subject is, the main focal point, is not being engulfed by whatever environment that you're trying to film in. So tip number three, I don't know why I do that. Thumb, it's not three and a half, it's three. <laughs> tip number three would be to try to keep it in the same space. So you'll notice that a lot of the bigger YouTubers that you probably like to watch usually film in the exact same space. And so what that does is that helps create a sense of familiarity with you and whoever you're watching. So you can just look at the set of your favorite YouTuber without them in it and you'll know exactly who that is. You don't, you don't have to have them in there because what that set or that background has started to associate with now is becoming a character, um, sort of a secondary character, a support role, if you will, part of that content, whoever's filming that content. And to me, I like that. I like knowing that, oh, I can just see that background in a matter of seconds and I know exactly who it is and I know what kind of content they're gonna bring. So tip number four is make it unique. Make it personal to you. So as you can see behind me, I have several different things. My monitor's a little weird, but I have uh, several different things on my shelf that is catered to my personality or what I do. So you'll notice I have 
a drone sitting there. I have a few lenses here, and that's associated with the fact that I like to make videos and shoot photography. But you also see a couple other things like You'll see a couple Stitch items right there. My favorite Disney movie is Lilo and Stitch, so of course I'm gonna add that in there. That's part of who I am. And then of course, various knickknacks and stuff that you can't see, but make it you, make it personable to you. It, this is your filming area. This is the place where you're gonna be creating out content that you wanna create. So you don't wanna necessarily do what someone else is doing because their background, their environment, their shooting space is for them and not for anyone else. And have fun with it. I mean, it doesn't have to be some professionally lit setup. I mean, for me, I'm sitting in an office in a spare bedroom in my own house and I just decided to take a little bit of that space and, and create something to be able to shoot these videos with. So in conclusion, the four tips that I would like to give to you guys would be, remember to one, make the background part of your niche. Uh, have that background be kind of associated with what you're trying to do. Number two, bring yourself away from that background. Let that background just be a secondary space that just helps enhance and add a little bit of tasty spice to whatever you're trying to do in your videos, the videos you're cooking up. Number three is try to film in the same space. Make that space that you're filming in be part of the continuous videos that you're putting out. So that way people, all they have to do is look at where you're at without you being in there and they know exactly who it is and what they're trying to film. And remember four, have fun with it. Filmmaking and photography and this whole this whole realm of, of YouTube and creating content doesn't have to necessarily feel like a job or feel so like just because you don't have the best gear or a million dollar filming studio uh, that you can't have fun with it. I mean, you can literally set up camp in a bedroom with a few lights, a shelf from Walmart and a few things you have around the house and you can make it whatever it is you want. So I hope this helps. I hope you got something out of it and stay tuned because there's gonna be more content coming from me. All right, I'm gonna go back to eat my pizza. Mm. Okay, bye.